And Tim is having a lot of fun this morning. He is decking the halls with some delicious barbecue and some holiday drinks as well. So he's live in Wilmette at Pit and Tap. And Tim, I just know you're not going to come back empty handed. I just know it. <laughs> That's on your Christmas wish list, right? You want a little it bit is. of barbecue? Maybe a little, Free Thanksgiving little bit of beer? Wish list. You know, Monday. <laughs> There you go. Mondays are always a struggle, but if you give me beer and barbecue, I'm a jolly fellow. And that's what I'm getting today here at Pit and Tap. This place is uh, fantastic. It smells wonderful. We're going to get a look inside the smoker here. This is Michael Clark, who's going to tell us a little bit about it. Uh, so you kind of do it the old-fashioned way. You, it's more labor-intensive here. It is. It's wood only here. This is my smoker Earl, by the way. Big Earl, as, as I like to call him. And we're wood only. No gas, no electric. It is just having a person here feeding it wood and checking the meat constantly. Okay, can you do the big reveal for us while he's doing that? I'm going to tell you that uh, this place has specialty drinks we're going to get to in a second. But right now I, have, uh, I have some bellies going. We have briskets. We have uh, St. Louis pork ribs. We'll have some uh, shoulders in here, some smoked meatloaf, chicken, and pastrami. All, that's all going right now and has been going all night. You had me at barbecue. It's just amazing. The smell in here is unbelievable. And if you want to wash it down, you've got some local beers here. You've got, I know you've got Coors Light up there. You have to have that. But everything else is local. Everything else is local. We'd like to really support the, the small breweries of the Chicagoland area. And we keep a rotating list. So we keep things fresh for all of our beer drinkers. And we um, just have a, a great list. Uh, 18 beers on tap. And I, I, I think that we have a wonderful selection. What is your personal favorite? Well, our, I'll tell you, uh, mine along with uh, almost everybody else's is the Maplewood Son of Juice. It's our biggest seller for sure, but we keep a great variety, so there's always something interesting. To, right now we have a couple of different Christmas beers going. Um, we have the Beguile Christmas Ale, we have a Spiteful Jingle Balls, and it is, uh, it's just really fun. What was that, Spiteful Jingle Balls? Spiteful Brewery's Jingle Balls, exactly. Yeah, I just want to make sure I got that right. So you, you deck the halls here, your papa's called Deck the Halls, takes you about three or four days to decorate this. How long is this going to be up? We'll be open through January 7th. Absolutely. And every day up until Christmas Eve, we'll close at 3. Close Christmas Day and New Year's Day, but we do have something really fun for New Year's Eve. It's a family-friendly uh, New Year's Eve party every hour on the hour, starting at 5, with a countdown 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, so you can come with your kids, come early. Come in, enjoy all the fun of a midnight countdown, but you can do it at 5 o'clock. Hats, noisemakers, confetti, and a sparkling toast for all ages. It's really uh, awesome. Fun. So you've got beer, but you also have these specialty drinks. Can you tell me about these, Elizabeth? Yeah, we have um, an incredible holiday cocktail list. These are three favorites. This is my favorite, the Christmas cookie. It's an amazing uh, drink. Really does. It's all, all alcohol, right? It's 100% alcohol, for sure. No mixers. It's it's probably our most popular one right now. We have this really fun uh, adult hot chocolate that's called the peppermint patty, the Christmas cookie, the peppermint patty, and then we have the frosty martini. So, and there's lots more that you don't see here. So. If Santa had this Christmas cookie, he wouldn't make the rounds, I think, too well on Christmas Eve. So I'm going to head over to this beer here. I saw this on your list. You got an extensive list. And this was, what was this, the Moody... That's the Moody Tongue. Uh, it's a caramelized chocolate churro porter, and it really will warm you up this wow. winter. Caramelized chocolate churro porter. Okay, let's go. I like the dark beers now. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. That's very a little early, but, you know, you can get used to that. Yeah, it's all happening here in Wilmette. They've been here about three years. This is a trying to become a family tradition for folks here. So this is their third year. You can check it out in Wilmette, guys. Back to you. It's 5 p.m. somewhere, Tim. 5 p.m. somewhere. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Australia? I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Best job ever. Oh, yeah. Right? Just remember, you got to do the new with me today, okay? <laughs> I do? Uh, I'll just have one then. <laughs> we'll see you later. One Sam. of each, but I've got a driver. I've got a driver. One of each.